Well, it might be a week until the Duke and Duchess touch down in Adelaide, but preparations are well underway. Students at Elizabeth's Northern Sound System have been busy fine-tuning their musical routines, while tradesmen frantically work around the clock. They're practising their dance moves and warming up their vocal cords. Because this time next week, they'll be doing it for royalty when the Duke and Duchess make their one and only South Australian stop in Elizabeth. They're young and they seem a bit more chilled out. Um, hopefully they're going to like it. But it's not the only thing these students at Northern Sound System are fine-tuning. A whole range of protocols around what to say when you meet them um, and how to bow and curtsy. Outside, tradesmen have been working around the clock beautifying streets and footpaths. It's not every day that a mayor gets to host a royal couple in their community. Road closures will be in place on Elizabeth Way and Playford Boulevard from 7.30 on Tuesday night until 4.30 Wednesday afternoon. It's going to be absolutely electric. There will be people everywhere. They'll be waving their flags. Once the Royals are finished at Northern Sound, they'll make their way down Playford Boulevard before getting out of the car just behind me here. And I'm told the best vantage point will be across the road underneath the clock tower. Other top spots include Elizabeth Way, the parklands between Forbisher Road and Main North Road and the shopping centre car park. And despite a possible bus strike, the advice if you're travelling to the northern suburbs is to catch public transport. We're really making sure and encouraging the government and the union not to strike on this day. Samantha Vardis, Nine News.